Gotta get them Instagram. Yeah, you gotta get them Instagram posts, bro. Hey, in your experience, Instagram, is it for the followers or is it for the customers? It's for both. Yeah. Um, it just depends, you know. I try to make a lot of reels just for the content, and then, I, but I do get a lot of clients from Instagram. Yeah, so I get my clients from Instagram, my website mainly, but the ads, they're starting to go down like crazy, so. Oh yeah, you pay for ads? Yeah, I pay for ads, man. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna stop though, cause my website right now, it's ranking on Google, on like the first page. Yeah. So basically people are finding me already. So we'll see what happens. So talking about getting customers. Yeah. What is the biggest way you get customers right now? Um, right now, the biggest way I get customers is through Google. Um, I usually just get a bunch of customers from there, but I do get a lot of clients from Instagram, um, just referrals, people referring me, and then um, just like sometimes people take a picture of my van and they call me from there. It just depends, you know. And when but you say yeah. Google, is it just regular Google your business or Google ads? So I am running a little bit of ads right now just because um, I want to have extra business coming into my, my business. Um, but I do, but my website is ranking on Google on the first page right now. So I get a bunch of clients from uh, search engine optimization on my website, yeah. Let's say there's a detailer out there, brand new in the game. He's about to start next week. What simple marketing strategies would you suggest for him to get his first clients? To get his first client, what I would recommend is just asking your family members if you know you can detail their cars. They're more they're they'll probably be more than happy to let you like detail their cars. That's how I started. Um, you can ask your friends, you can go out there, pass flyers, do whatever you can, pass some business cards. Um, just get out there, you know, that's simple. But uh, of course, in the beginning, you're not gonna get that many clients, but it's just part of the process. You gotta, you gotta suffer through that in the beginning. And what should they offer? A full price detail, half, free 99. I would say, you know, charge whatever you think is good. If you think that 200 bucks is good, charge whatever. If you think, you know, 50 bucks, like I did in the beginning is good, then, then do that, you know, whatever works for you. Luis, when it comes to getting business, mm -hmm. what do you focus on more? Your maintenance, repeat clients, or you try to focus more on getting new clients? Um, so I try to get a lot of new clients just because, you know, I can get, um, you know, a bigger service. I can do like a full deep clean and all that and I can make more money. Because what I notice with the maintenance clients is that, you know, I'm, I'm going around different clients and I'm not making that much money when I do those. That's why I don't really have them. That's why I barely have like maintenance clients. I have like two, three of them, but that's about it. Um, I don't really take maintenance clients unless the client like takes a ceramic coating or a paint correction, then yeah, I'd put them into like a schedule for that. Mm. But other than that, I mean, there's, there's detailers out there that can, you know, survive with the maintenance, but personally me, I like to do the full details because I make more money, so yeah. Talking about getting clients, Luis, have you ever had to fire customer, a detailing client? Maybe they were too picky, maybe they lagged too much, maybe they didn't want to pay. Yeah, I've had situations, man, where the customer um, didn't like the work at the end, and what? Uh, after you finished it yeah after i finished it um but it was my fault too because i didn't take their concerns in mind mm. but i learned from my mistake you know because i remember there was this one car i had a bunch of water spots on the side and the dude only asked for um for a wash and wax so i didn't really you know tell him about that and which was my fault i should have been like um do you want me to remove these it's gonna be a little extra um but he got really mad at the fact that they were still there so I, I took the loss on that one and I gave him a discount, you know, mm. but it is what it is. So, was he being picky or do you think he had a reasonable concern? Honestly, I feel like he was being picky. Um, honestly, I really didn't like that customer. I'm just going to be honest with you guys because the people who try to lowball you in the beginning, they're, those are the ones that are like very cheap and um, I learned that a lot, <laughs> you know, because he started lowballing me in the beginning. Dang. Telling me if I can give him like a little better deal because he was gonna bring me more cars um, But honestly when people tell me that now, I just don't believe him. You know, it's it is what it is So I see you post a lot on Instagram. What kind of content are you posting? 
Um, so I'm posting a lot of reels just because they're going uh, pretty viral right now. And it just depends, you know, they're going trending with the sounds that you use. And that's how I've been getting a lot of followers and uh, a bunch of likes on my posts because of the reels. But um, I used to post a bunch of like just blank pictures or just like pictures of the details. And I didn't really get that much many likes. I don't know why, but it's kind of crazy. Got it. And what do you like doing? Befores and afters or showing specific techniques? Um, I usually just do, um, I don't do before and afters that much. I basically just record like the process of us detailing and then I just put like a really good song or something and then uh, just make it look cool or something, you know? So there you have it. That's how I get clients in my detailing business. Let me know how you guys get your business and your detailing business in the comments below. And once again, I'm Luis from Cervantes Details here in San Jose, California. And like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram.